Today's video is all about wands in Animal Crossing New Horizons and everything you need to know about them. You're a wizard, Harry. What do they do? How can you get them? And how many kinds are there? Let's go ahead and jump into it right now. People of the internet, Retro Raconteur here, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. One of my favorite items in the game has to be the wand. Or wands, plural, as there are quite a few of them. Here's a quick look at all the different types of wands you can get in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And here in a bit, we're going to go through each wand and I'll show you exactly how they're obtained. If you don't have a wand yet and you're unsure what they do, it's pretty straightforward. Wands are simply a tool for quickly changing outfits anytime, anywhere. If you're new to the game, you may have found out about wands through a DIY recipe or perhaps you saw someone else using one. I actually found out by getting multiple DIY recipes before I ever knew their actual function in the game. Wands can be equipped like any other tools, such as a shovel or fishing rod. The purpose of the wand, though, is to quickly alter your appearance without having to access a wardrobe item or going into your inventory to swap out different pieces of your outfit. So even though there are different types of wands in the game, they all have the same purpose. So how do you go about obtaining these wands? There are two steps you'll need to complete to make your own wand, and you're about to see why it's been so hard for me to get those recipes. First, you'll have to get the correct recipe. Second, you'll need to find the appropriate crafting items. Now, most of the recipes are obtained from Celeste, so make sure you talk to her anytime you see her visiting, as she'll always have a recipe for you. Unfortunately, the recipes from Celeste won't always be wand recipes. Now, there are also certain wands tied to special events in the game. There's the bug wand and fish wand, which are both obtained as rewards from their respective events, i.e. the bug off and fishing tournament. The bunny day wand was obtained after completing the entire bunny day series of furniture for Zipper. The cherry blossom wand is from the cherry blossom festival. You'll have a chance at the ice wand DIY recipe for making perfect snowboys during winter time. The mushroom wand can be obtained during, you guessed it, mushrooming season. There's also the wedding wand, which is a recipe you can get from Cyrus after completing seven days of photo shoots during wedding season. And finally, there's the shell wand, which you can obtain from your regular DIY recipe sources. Now, all the other wand recipes I haven't mentioned so far are obtained from Celeste. So here we go, the Cosmos, Golden, Hyacinth, Iron, Lily, Pansy, Rose, Star, Tree Branch, Tulip, Wand, and the Windflower are all wand recipes you'll need to get from Celeste. Or trading with a friend, of course. So if you have your sights set on a particular wand, now you know how to get the recipe, but that's only half the battle. You see, wand recipes do require star fragments, which is somewhat of a rare item in the game. The only way to get them is by wishing on a star during meteor showers. The star fragments will then wash on your shore throughout the next day. Make sure you wish on as many shooting stars as you can and also check the beach a couple of times over the course of the next day as the star fragments will continue to appear. If you're having a hard time catching a meteor shower, then you may want to check out Meteo Nook, a free online tool that will show you the exact day and time you need to be on the lookout for shooting stars. I made a whole separate video on Meteo Nook as there is quite a bit of setup involved and I'll be sure to include a link to that down in the description below. Okay, so you got your recipe. You crafted your wand, now how do you actually use the thing? Before you can use the wand, you'll want to create a few different outfit combinations. You can make up to eight, and you'll need to do so from any wardrobe style item. Even items like coolers and refrigerators will work. Strange, I know. It's pretty straightforward to set them up from there, but unfortunately there are a few strange limitations. First, if you have any items you'd like to use across multiple outfits, say a specific pair of socks, a hat you love, or your beard. Yes, for some reason, beards are cosmetic items in this game. I don't get it, it makes me mad. I, I have a beard. But if that's the case, then you'll only be able to use that item on one outfit. If you wanna use it in more than one, unfortunately, you'll need to buy multiple versions of the item. Yeah, you got it, that means I have to buy multiple beards. You also can't set your wetsuit as a wand outfit, but you can easily get around this by starting off wearing your wetsuit and then using your wand to change into your preloaded outfits. Anytime you want to switch back to the wetsuit, you simply remove your current outfit with your wand. Another small downside is you won't be able to enter the changing room at the Able Sisters shop while wearing either a star outfit or your wetsuit. Even with those limitations though, wands are a fantastic, fun addition to the game, especially if you have multiple outfits you like to wear. 
And come on, this is Animal Crossing. Who doesn't have multiple outfits they want to wear? I'm hopeful that down the line we'll see Nintendo iron out some of those minor issues to make them even better. You should now be seeing two videos popping up on the right side of your screen. One is all about setting up the Meteor Nook site so you can predict your weather and meteor showers. The other is about that little trick I mentioned regarding your wand and wetsuit. That's going to be it for this video. I'll talk to you guys again soon.